What's going on everyone? Today we're going to go over how to install Bellatro mods and this should only take a short amount of time. The first and most important step to install Bellatro mods is gain yourself a mod installer. The most popular one and the one that works with most mods that you're going to find on the Discord and on the Reddit is the Steam modded um, installer. Thank you to everyone who put this together. I know it was quite a lot of work and they got it done extremely fast. And now we have a ton of mods to play. So the first step is going to this page to Steam modded and you're going to go to the releases section, the release page. I'll leave the link down in the description. You're gonna want this Steam modded PS injector.exe. Now for whatever reason, Windows Defender is nervous that this may be a Trojan horse virus. I'm gonna let you do your own research. Thousands of people have downloaded Steam Modded. I've downloaded Steam Modded. I haven't run into any issues, but obviously only do this step if you're comfortable and don't forget to turn on your protection after you turn it off. So screen's gonna go blank there for a second as I my admin allows me to do that. We're gonna go here, the .exe file, and you'll see that this is even blocked from Chrome so you're gonna to have to go into your Chrome settings in some circumstances and allow it. So we turned off the Chrome protection and now we have the folder. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our downloads, not to all of my video files, and we're going to open the Steam modded injector. So you're just gonna open it. It's gonna do all the work for you. It should find the file, no problem. Press any key and you can go ahead and exit Steam modded. So now, for all intents and purposes, Steam Modded is downloaded. Now I'll show you the next step. So now that Steam Modded is running on your Bellatro, you're gonna wanna go and click this big mod button. If you're not seeing the mod button, then the mod injector did not install properly and you can come go to the Discord and troubleshoot your issues. Um, but you're gonna wanna click on that and hit open mod directory. What this does is it finds the path and you may wanna go ahead and copy the path or what I did is I went ahead and created a shortcut on my desktop so it's right here available. So it's gonna be in your Bellatro file under app data and roaming. I go ahead, hit right click, create a shortcut, drop that shortcut over here and um, yeah, you should be all good. So now when we install a mod, We'll have to place it in this mod folder. We'll put that right there. And we'll go ahead and download Crimson Hearts Ultimate Card Collection mod. Um, again, each one of these is going to have kind of like a little bit of a difference in how you install it. But this one, we're downloading the Jimbo only and Jimbo list version. Uh, Crimson Heart has many, many mods. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one. Find that file. We're gonna hit Control C. We're gonna go take it, put it in the mod file of Bellatro Mods and Control V. And now we should be all good. Let's go ahead and close that. One quick tip I'll do before we check Bellatro and make sure the mod's working is I create a folder that's also mods turned off. I'll put it up on the screen. And that way I can take a mod from the mod folder and put it in this file when I want the mod to be turned off, but the file is still readily available for me to switch back and forth. Um, this is the easiest way to uninstall mods currently in Bellatro is kind of just taking the file out and putting it somewhere else. Also, I recommend creating backups of your save files. Normally you don't run into any issues, but there's a possibility to run into save file issues with some of these mods. So it's always good to back up your game files and you could do that by copying and pasting those one, two, three profiles you saw in the app roaming data. Just copy them and paste them in some separate file that's not associated with Bellatro. And you can always paste them back if you need to get them. So now let's launch Bellatro and make sure that the mod is working. So to check if the mod's working, we'll go ahead and click mods. Looks like it is. We have Jimbo only and Jimbo list by Crimson Heart. And that's it. That means that everything should be working. Um, this particular mod is custom challenges. So you'll see it at the very end of the custom challenges and that's it. That's how to install mods in Bellatro. So it's actually a pretty simple and straightforward process. Again, the Discord is wonderful. If you have any issues, you can go to the official Bellatro Discord, 
go to the modding section, ask your questions there. I can answer your questions down in the comments down below to my, the best of my ability. And of course, you can also post on the Reddit where there are more extremely helpful individuals. Hopefully this video helped. And instead of an outro, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a speed run I had from some random gameplay because I don't know where to post this speed run. And I figured why not throw it in the end of a tutorial video about modding. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Can we beat it? This is the last thing we're doing and then we're, we're going to end the stream. Skip. Skip me. Play this. Uh, give me... Play this. Beautiful. Get me out of here. Cash out. Brainstorm. Huge. Banner. Huge. Cash out. Oh, why did I play that? That was dumb. We're supposed to skip. I forgot about that. I forgot what we were doing. Chat. On screen. Anus. Not even clicking anything correctly. High score speed run. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, next round. Skip me. Skip me. Club cards debuff. Don't know. Play the, another pair. We're out of here. We need some more chips. Cash this out. That, oh my god. Uh. We're good. We got this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, we're almost there. We're almost there. Not even a timer? No, because I didn't expect this. I thought this was going to be a meme. Okay, we're on the anti-8. Here we go. Time. What was that? That was around 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe we just did that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not subscribed to Zayna on, on YouTube. And I'm sorry. There we go. We are subscribed. Subscription added.